Hey, so for today, I'm going to talk about another IDE-like feature that we have available in Emacs, and that is on-the-fly syntax checking. So what, what this means really is just imagine that I deleted the semicolon and that I commented out this line. So we know for sure that there is an error in this line uh, and that the also renderer has not been defined. So probably none of this should work, right? And the good thing about IDs is that you can tell right away about these kind of errors because the editor itself, I mean, the, the ID itself tells you about this. Uh, otherwise, you will have to compile the project and then the compiler will tell you, oh, you know, you messed this up, you need to fix it. Right. Um, but there's a problem with that. And that is, if your project is big enough, compilation times tend to increase, you know, as well. So imagine that you forget to add a semicolon and you're like, oh, I need to recompile the whole thing because there's some weird dependencies going on. You know, all, all big projects are different in that sense. But there is a, another alternative, which is fly check mode. You can just activate it with fly check mode and it works out of the box with uh, C++. You can tell right away that at the end of the line, it is highlighting something, you know, a red thing. If I place the cursor in there at the, I mean, in the mode line, it's gonna tell me what was expecting this. So there is a semicolon at the end of the declaration expected. So I can just add it. I don't even need to save these things. You know, it's always, you know, checking the file. And we can go to the next. I, I believe there is a function to go to next error, yeah. And it's gonna take you to the next identified error by, by fly check. Uh, there is even a, already a custom binding, but it seemed to cumbersome for me. I might rebind it to something simpler. Uh, but again, it's gonna take you to the next one. So I know, oh, I forgot to declare render. So let's just uncomment this thing. And there we go. It, uh, it, it should compile without any problems like this, right? Yeah, there we go. So, like I mentioned, this works out of the box with uh, C++, but if we list the packages and we search for fly check, you can see that there are tons of packages already created for this thing. So you can, you know, you know play around with all of them. I mean, if you're working with Golang or something else than C++, it should work. Just um, just like I did. Um, but anyways, I mean, if you give it a shot or you have a question, I'm gonna leave a link in the description with a, a link to the documentation of uh, FlyCheck. Uh, or if you have a question for me, let me know. And, you know, thank you for watching.